Experiment Jund is definitely the probably the faster of the two in this matchup because of the fact that he can go um, Experiment 1, Burning Tree, Emissary, Flint of Four. He also have Aristocrat as Haste. He's got Gork Clan, Rampager to pump through um, any blockers. So he also has Dread Mangler as a Haste guy. Has a little more removal spells than uh, Nicholas does. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. I think... Um, I, I think Experiment Jump probably has the favor, uh, is probably the favorite overall, but it's probably going to depend on who's playing first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what we're going to find out here, as this is the uh, penultimate game of this. This is game three here, and we looks like we're going to see Nicholas taking a mulligan here. And Timothy looks happy enough with, with his hand. Um, now, of course, we are in game three, so just very quickly looking over the sideboard options as Nicholas is going to shuffle here. Uh, Timothy on looks to be the draw. Um, he has a copy of Ranger Skull, two copies of Tragic Slip, a Dread Boar, a copy of Gruel Charm, two copies of Golgari Charm, a Skull Crack, two copies of Rakdos Charm. He loves a charm. Uh, two copies of Dami Rod, two copies of Living Valderan, and a Wolfer's Silverheart. Uh, of these cards, you can probably expect them to sideboard in some more removal. Uh, Wolfer's Silverheart, a great card for trumping in the green mirrors. And Living Valderan, of course, if that goes unchecked, can dominate a game all by itself. But you, of course, see in the Naya Blitz deck that Nicholas is playing, he does have three copies of Searing Spear in his main deck, which are likely going to stay along with some help in his sideboard. Yeah. And Nicholas basically has four cards in his deck that I don't think he wants in this matchup after board. He's got three Wolf Bitten Captains and uh, Captives and one Zealous Conscript. Um, neither of those cards are particularly great in this kind of matchup, so I think he probably board those out for uh, a, a, four, a third Huntmaster of Fells, which he has one in his sideboard, and um, probably three Oblivion Rings. Okay. Um, beyond that, he's got Thalia in his sideboard, a couple of Thundermore Helltites, um, two more Zealous Conscripts, and three Boros Charms, but those are really more controlish cards. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I'd expect him to just bring in some a little more removal in Oblivion Ring and uh, uh, another Huntmaster, which is obviously uh, good in this type of matchup. Either way, Nicholas is off to a good start on his mulligan, as you do see Cavern of Souls naming human and champion of the parish. But a play that we've seen quite a bit this weekend, I think we're going to see quite a bit moving forward. An untapped dual land and a tragic slip taking care of the champion before it gets out of control. Yep. Timothy going to go down to 18 to do it, but probably worth taking the two. So you're going to see a Temple Garden here from Nicholas. He's going to take two as well, so we're going to tie up the life totals. Now we're going to see a wolf bitten captive. Wow, kept it in. And, and make it two. <laughs> so wolf bitten captive, a card that we are going to bring up on the screen for you guys so that you can see it. Does give the beatdowns, doesn't do it as well as Champion of the Parish or Experiment 1, but if that Champion of the Parish would have lived... Oh, yes, it yeah. would have been quite impressive. Yes. Um, as it stands, it's not very impressive. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, um, so maybe he just felt like he wanted to be the aggressor game it's you know it's game um it's game three so he's on the play maybe he just wants to be an aggressor doesn't care so much about the fact that they're they're not amazing in this matchup but uh you know they're fine and you know right now right now it's a situation where you can see wolf big and captain can attack um but he's choosing to flip them uh and you'll I see the flip I, side i here. think they become, they become two twos and you can pump them uh, I think they get like plus two, plus two. Yeah, they become they become. They're um, naturally just two twos. Yeah, they, yeah, they're naturally become two twos, and you can pump them for four mana. So um, doesn't have a third land. You know he's got a silver blade paladin stuck in his hand. Um, but uh, it doesn't look like Timothy's got any removal. So well, I'm a little bit interested to see why he didn't attack there, just because you know the attack is pretty easy for him um, here. You know he can just. He, first of all, Rakdos Cackler can't block, obviously. Experiment 1 is a 2-2 currently. So, you know, if he attacks with both of his guys, Experiment 1 can't block because yeah. he just pumps it and kills it. So I think I feel like he probably missed out on at least two points of damage, potentially potentially four, then he flips his guys. Now, does he want to be in a racing situation? I don't know, you know, because I don't know the contents of Timothy's hand, as you do see a Dreg Mangler here, and Experiment 1 is going to move up to being a 3-3. Three -three. So, you know, it kind, of, it kind of begs the question on if sitting was correct, but... You know, it, it feels like it may be now because it's, you see him getting crushed this turn. Uh, even still, though, I mean, I'm not sure what his plan is, what, what his plan was with, with, with by not attacking, you know? Because um, blocks aren't good right his now. His blocks aren't good. Like, he's basically saying, all right, I'm assuming Timothy's not going to do anything on his third turn. Sure. Because you know? that's the only way you could possibly, like, you can't even pump your guys. So if he attacks with both his creatures, you're just going to lose your guys anyway. Sure. You know? So I'm not sure what his plan was. So yeah, he ends up not not even blocking. So that not attacking last turn definitely um, seemed terrible. 
it's just, yeah. So we see Brian walking by, <coughs> talking about being bonfired yet again here. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Nicholas kind of regrets not attacking last turn. Um, he's got two flip captains, but there's not much else going on right here for him. Um, stalled on two lands, doesn't even have a red source to cast the Searing uh, Blaze, that is, you know, or the uh, Searing Spear, rather. Um, it looks like Timothy actually has a Domer Rad, which she can, which, which can start casting. Yeah, and that can just take over a game all by itself. You see Timothy finally just drew the red mana. You see another Dread Mangler in his hand. What I think we also Falcon see Rath here, it's probably Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, as Experiment 1's getting bigger. It's a 4-4 four four now. Oh, that's no, actually a that's a uh, Rancher. Ranger, yeah. Okay. But again, things are starting to spiral out of control here, and this is something that we talked about a couple rounds ago, but this is this shows you just how good Experiment 1 is in Magic Card. Again, it's it's like there are certain decks that are just trumped, like the Naya Human deck that Nicholas is playing is just getting trumped by the getter, better gate crash cards. Yes. You know? Like, Experiment 1 is too good not to play, and he's playing a Naya Blitz deck that doesn't have Experiment 1. Yeah. You know? I... If, imagine those Wolf Fleet and Captains were experiments, you know? Maybe his line of play is just different. Um, he because he has a Thalia in his hand, I believe. So it's just it just goes to show you 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 need to adapt your decks. You can't play the decks that were that were good before Gate Crash and add like a couple of like add a frontline meta to it or something. You have to adapt because the the gruel gate crash cards are just too good. And you even see, you know, a card like Gorkland Rampager helping to pump Experiment 1. You know, let's say he didn't want to cast that. You know, this turn he could have just played his Blood Crypt untapped and just crash in. Yeah. And you've got a pretty good idea of what that's representing, and you're in a no-win situation then, too, uh, with Blood Rush just looming. You know, there are there definitely are no good blocks then. And he also has a Domery Red in his hand. Yeah. So, you know, that's another Gate Crash card that's going to be really good for him if he's able to cast it. Yeah. But he might not even need to because... The other gate crash cards that he's had is, is are pretty much going to lock the game up for him. Um, but you know, it's 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 easy to say that because Nicholas is just stalled on two lands. But again, I, if you're playing if you're playing an aggressive human deck, why not play Experiment One? Yeah, you have to have you, know? a, very, you have, to have a very good reason. You have to have a very good reason not to. So we are going to see some blocks here. You're going to see the two flipped wolf bitten captives get in front of the drag mangler. It's going to take out one of those. Champion of the Parish is going to jump in front of the experiment one so that's going to die it's going to leave nicholas with just one guy left and he's facing down a four two four fours one of which does have trample and a rakdos cackler which is you know the scariest of threats but again it's there and it has to be dealt with so nicholas is going to take a draw step here he does draw a cavern of souls that's not going to allow him to cast that searing spear still you can at least you can at least cast the silver blade column that's been in his hand but again if timothy does in fact have a dumb regret in his hand he's going to be able to um fight to the creatures. And so you do see that Silverblade Paladin likely going to partner up with the flipped wolf bitten captive and just pass the turn back, threaten for a first strike. But as we know, and you guys do know at home, there is a Donner Rat over there and Bernie Tramissary as well. Now in Timothy's hand to go along with that Woodland Cemetery that he's going to play. So he's basically going to get, all, if he'd like, he can get a free 2 2 out of the situation. And well, he will. He can, he can fight that 2 2 with the Domer Rag, yep. so that he's like, all right, fine, these will trade, but I'm not going to have two damage in my Rampager, so you're not going to be able to kill that no matter Absolutely. what. So, it's going to be bad shape for you no matter what. And let's not ignore the fact that Domer Rat's still going to be around next turn. I don't, think, a, no, anything, I, think, I, I don't think Nicholas is going to be around next yeah, turn. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think, I, don't, I think Nicholas is dead this turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to be around much longer either. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, experiment one was just uh, an all-star this game kind of showcased just how good it can be so right now they are going to check the oracle text of of, of something here we're going to get a ruling in really quickly here um, and so that's going to happen here it looks like I think, we're going to uh, have a fight nicholas was just getting a text from his mom she was asking him why he didn't play experiment one yeah. <laughs> like i'm watching you on uh star city live right now experiment one son experiment one Dami Rod fights more Clan Rampager in with the Silver Blade Paladin. Now, of course, he can jump in front of the Rampager here, but that will actually leave him dead on the board because the two trample damage plus the four from the Experiment 1 is six, plus two from the Cackler is eight. So you see, Nicholas, uh, as long as light goals are correct... Don't do that. Don't do that, Nicholas. Don't That's do that, eight. Nicholas. That's eight, right? 
I mean, by our he math, that's over. eight damage, yeah. And as long as Nicholas Life Total is correct and he is at eight, that would end this game. And that does and end this game. that does end the game. So Timothy Baggin and his Experiment Jun deck, designed by Ari Lax, wins this match. I'm going to move him along to 5-0. Oh. Nicholas Burr and Nia.